Hi everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I've got a couple of card projects that use pattern paper as the means to add color to die cuts. This is a really fun way to add some unexpected patterns and designs to your die cuts, and it's super simple. So, let's take a look at the products. I want to make a Miss You card from a best friend in Washington, and I've got this Miss You die that comes with a shadow layer and I'm going to use this Heidi Swap pattern paper that I have. I really love this paper. And I'm going to stamp the United States and I'm going to do that with some Gina K Key Lime ink, a really bold bright color. And then for my sub sentiment I'm going to use one of the little sentiments from this particular reverse sentiment strips that I designed for Simon Says Stamp. No stamping required. You just cut them apart and they're good to go. So. Let's jump into creating the cards. The first thing I'm going to do is score my card base. Now this is a piece of Nina Solar White 110 pound classic crest. I am not going to fold this though because I want this to be a single layer card and I'm going to stamp directly onto the card base. So I'm lining up the map of the US and I'm going to use my Misty for this because I am going to stamp this a few times to get a really nice coverage of this ink. That is the beautiful thing about a stamp positioner is that it lets you hit it again and again and again in the same place if you don't get a great impression the first time. And that was the case for the first stamp down. Now I use a Swiffer cloth to clean up, but I also use it just so that my hand can slide easily over the misty door. And I love this because I can give nice full pressure and look at that glide. Oh, what the heck, I hit it three times because that's how I roll and now I'm gonna set this aside and that will dry and smooth out. I'll clean this off real quick with my stamp chamois and move on to the next step. I'm going to die cut Miss You out of this pattern paper and I kind of just positioned them where they might pick up a little bit of every color in the pattern. Running that through and there are the results. I'm also going to do this again from another piece of pattern paper from the same pad just because I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do and how it was going to look. I didn't realize it was going to turn into a second card, but there you go. See, things, magical things, they happen when you're making cards. Actually, I just wanted to have choices. So now I have a few patterns to choose from and I can move on to cutting out the shadow layer as well as one more Miss You because I want to build up the die cut just a little bit. I'm going to use some liquid glue here and I'm going to dab it onto the back of the white die cut word and then I will adhere that directly to the shadow layer. This way I can give my pattern a little lift off of this shadow layer but also keep that white core and I thought that would look really nice. So once I get all these down, including the tittle, don't forget the dot of the eye. And yes, if you've ever watched uh, Amore with Laura Fedora, that's called a tittle. I'll add more glue directly to the die cut that's already been glued together. I just thought that would be easier than putting it on the pattern paper and gently pressing that down. Simple, just a little bit of lift. I love that look going to add the tittle and I actually pulled that from a different uh, from the other die cut because I thought it looked nice to have the pink and layer in the U. So now I have Miss You and I'll put an acrylic block on that just to let that really set up. While that's doing that I'm going to cut out my sentiment. Now you can actually use a Misty Cut Align. I have one but I haven't quite figured out how to use it. I use an X-Acto knife and metal ruler because I'm old school and this is just really fast for me, but I do press really hard when I'm cutting. But the one thing I can't do with an X-Acto knife is trim the edges. For some reason, I just can't get a perpendicular cut to save my life, so I bring it to my big Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer for perfectly straight cuts on each side of the sentiment. And then I will save that as well in a little pocket where I keep all the extras that I cut away. Now, this has a white core. If you don't like that look, just get a dark marker, and this is a Copic marker, I think it's T10. Just color the sides of that cut, and it will give you the look of black core cardstock, and I think that looks really nice on the finished card projects. 
Next, I'll stamp out a few hot pink hearts onto some white cardstock. I thought that the card could use a little heart here or there, and I always stamp multiples because I tend to make mistakes when I'm die cutting, although this time I kind of nailed it. But I'm gonna take the little tiny die for the hearts right there. See how cute it is? Just put them down, line them up, and run them through the die cut machine. Now it's time to score the card base, and this is all dry and the ink smooths out really nicely, so I'm pressing down with my Teflon bone folder. Love that because it does not leave any marks on your cardstock. But I'm going to tape this thing closed because the 110 pound weight is so heavy it pops open while you're trying to align things, and I just, I can't have that. Gotta be flat. But here's where I couldn't decide what to do. Off camera, I went ahead and picked some pink cardstock and decided to put the other pattern paper on that. Now, I think that is cute, but I didn't go in this direction. And maybe you could tell me in the comments below if you think that I made a poor choice, but, but stay with me, because I'm gonna salvage that piece as well. Because you know, why make one card when you can make two, right? So finishing this card, I'm just gluing this down. And each piece here is popped up with some thin foam squares. I love the scrapbook adhesives thin foam squares because it gives a nice bit of loft, but not too much, right? But now it's time to do something with that other piece. So I die cut a heart using some Simon nested hearts out of some of that other Heidi Swap paper. And then I took a piece of Nina Solar White. This is actually the 80 pound folded it in half and scored it, and I'm taping this heart down so that I can do a partial die cut to create a heart-shaped card base. I'm gonna add my dot runner all over the front of the card base, and then I will line up that heart panel right into the point until it's perfectly lined up on the front of the card base. Press that down. Ah, oh, how cute is that? It all stays together. I love it. And to finish off, I added the Miss You, another heart, and then took one more sentiment from that set, want to have coffee. And there you go. Two simple card projects that don't really feature any fancy stamping or ink blending, just a little pattern paper. So dig through those pattern paper stashes that you have and try some die cutting with them today to create some really fun and easy looks for your card projects. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.